<laughs> all right then. Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I and maybe Trials of Cold Steel? I, I don't know, like I said earlier. No, it definitely says Trails. A before I is Trail. I before A is Trial. Here we go. You think it would be Trials of Cold Steel, but you know, whatever. Machine. What's that? A, a monster? No. I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. That's right. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. Either way, it's not alive. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. Probably. <laughs> Make good use of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. Oh, <sighs> so that's what you're playing at. Link. Okay. All right. Begin. Bring it on. No one is knocked out the battle. During the battle. Okay. Ooh. My turn. Okay. Give it up, everyone. All right. Now. Go. My turn. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Leave it to me. Get those buffs going. My turn. Leave it to me. Arcus, activate. Huh. Take this! Huh. That didn't seem to Go. do much. Attack. Ooh, you were just barely in the middle of that. Go! It's my turn. Everyone's good on health. Arcus activate. Another water art going. My turn. There. Go. Here. Ha. Leave it to me. Turn. Ha! That's that. Let's keep moving. That wasn't too bad. We won. D don't know how, though. Use your brain. Not 
bad. Not bad at all. Excellent use of combat links, too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. <laughs> it just may have. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? Not exactly. I kinda. All right. On to the second group. I Laura, get to play as Emma, well. Yusis. Come forward. Okay, so I hopefully get to play as them too. than I thought it would be. Aww. It seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? Looks like a machine of some kind. <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? Never seen anything else like it. Just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? Yes. I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell us. Anyway, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Just get on with it. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Not really, well, just get on I'll with it. Come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than a field study. None other than, not than. Than is a comparison. Field study? Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. More busy work! Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, we only just got to the Academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, Instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. Well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going, and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. I'm with Elisa. Market Town. Micaias and Eusis together? Oh boy. What? Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Keldic and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldic's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the Deep South. It's known for its spinners. All that way? How irritating. I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. <laughs> Unbelievable. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. Wow, that must have been...
have been tough. I guess. haven't been able to apologize to her. And we can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something, but when am I going to get the chance? On the train? Ah. Uh... Morning, Elisa. Morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? No, it's just... A force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. I know how that is. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Wh why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? Okay, finally they kissed and made up. <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just, I kind of lost my head. And before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you and none of this would have happened. There's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. You really are! So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. Apology accepted. Because you do no, seem like a nice girl. Uh, I mean... You really do, Alicia. <laughs> but seriously. That... That was, that was kind of mean. <laughs> I don't even know what's Sorry, going on right I now. I, I can't hear it. I'm things. getting a drink. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Apparently he does. Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I have an older sister. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. But every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. Though, you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. I still appreciate the thought. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh... Anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The... result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! Aww. This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh... Bosoms. You know... And I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever. Forget it ever happened. Are we clear? She's embarrassed. It, yes, perfectly. Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. Huh? L. Uh. Oh, good morning.
Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. It would have been. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Oh, you like it. Whatever you say. <laughs> Well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, th that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? Let's do it. That actually looks really nice. Rather formal, fitting a noble. But seriously, that is a big fucking claymore for a little lady, and she swings it around without breaking a sweat. Do not piss her off. Okay, I'm in the dormitory. Okay, this is where I get ingredients. Okay. Healthy liquor. Okay. You sell ingredients. Okay, that won't do me much good. Oh, you're a light user. Interesting. So I, that's what these are.
Okay, cool. Gotta get the protagonist up first, I guess. Give me a... No, that's Elliot as my healer. Uh, poison, sure. Uh, that's all to do for now. You all prepared to leave as well? Morning. Good morning. All ready to go then. Hmm. They're still at it, huh? I'm sick of them already. <laughs> oh, now that you mention it, I guess you were finally able to make up with him, right? It's not like we were getting along that poorly. Well done. <laughs>
Trade. Yeah, they really could. Yeah, that'd be a nightmare, true. I've done it. Oh, last night, after, when I went to bed, all I remember, next thing I know, my parent, my mother's waking me up to clean a tree up out of the yard. I don't remember anything about last night. When I came to the academy, I never thought I'd make, I'd find myself visiting the Grand Market. Before. I've read about it before, but this will be my first time seeing it in person. Gems and furs. card game called Blade with other members of your group to strengthen your bonds with them. Only the first match with each character will increase your bond with that person. This will occur whether you win or lose. Okay. What are the rules?
Okay, so it's war. Let's get started. Go on, draw a card. Looks like I'm going first. Bolt! Oh, now you've done it. Oh, same score? We better draw again. Oh, same score? We better draw again. After you, then. Will you stop doing that? Bolt! Oh, same score? We better draw again. Looks like I'm going first. Mirror! Uh, one more game. That's actually kind of fun. Easy on me, okay? Yeah, no. Okay then, let's draw. Well, looks like I'm up first. Really? You're playing that now? Mirror! I didn't see that coming. The same score means we draw again, right? Well, looks like I'm up first. <laughs> I win! card with a value of one can be used to bring back a card. Ooh. And they're just a value of one if they're the only card on the then field. Then let us begin our duel. You are very prim and proper. Ooh, lots of just Please draw a card. You. The first move is yours. Divine Bolt. Starting. I didn't expect that. Divine Bolt! I didn't expect that. Divine Bolt! We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. An excellent duel. I was trying to. No, I have to get a. I have to keep playing till we get a higher score. Go ahead and get a save data. It's always good to have a save state. That's enough chit chat.
Yeah. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This transcontinental train is bound for Crossbell. The next stop is Keldic. Keldic. Passengers traveling to Bereahard. Please change trains at this stop. Almost there. The Market Town. Wow, so this is Keldick. It seems like a really relaxing little town. Though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldic's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. But you're all still miners, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. <laughs> anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's uh, right over there. Uh, okay, let's go. This person is important. Well, well. I hadn't expected to see the Purple Lightning herself in such a quaint little town. He's important. Mm. And the chicks with her seem like an interesting lot, too. No time for that now. I have more pressing matters to attend to. Hope this guy isn't a creep. May I please have control so I can save and end the episode? Five o'clock somewhere. And there are four beds.
Yeah, get used to it. Thought you'd gotten over that. She's still a little embarrassed about it. Still young, so and this is these are more more questing. East Cel Celtic Highway Monster. Okay, and something about that. Probably a church goer. Okay. Busy work! Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Legends of Cold Steel as I continue to do more busy work. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.